When the ball drops and wellness is on your mind, will this company find a way to help you put fitness first? And can mind-body generate the rush to make this innovation work out? Every now and then you'll find one stock that embodies not one but two powerful themes. Take mind body, symbol M as in Mary B, the cloud-based provider of business management software that's specifically tailored to the health and wellness industry. Yep, it's a cloud play and it's a wellness play, two of the strongest secular trends out there. For example, if you run a small yoga studio, MindBody's platform gives your clients an easy way to book their classes, make payments, check your schedule. Plus, they also help you manage the business side of things. Now, this is a real growth business. MindBody has gone from 500 subscribers in 2005 to more than 58,000 in the latest quarter. 35% revenue growth. Remarkable. Even as yet, the company is not profitable. Oh, but the stock's rallied 63% in the past year, so maybe people are thinking more about that revenue growth. So can MindBody continue its terrific move? Well, just yesterday, it announced a new partnership with Google that aims to help consumers easily book fitness and wellness classes directly through Google Search or Google Maps or a standalone website. Reserve with Google. I think that's a good sign, although we do need to be careful given the stock's recent move. So let's dig deeper with Rick Stolmeyer. He's the co-founder, chairman, president, and CEO of MindBody. To learn more about his company and his prospects, Mr. Stolmeyer, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Rick. Uh, Rick, I was talking to a friend of mine, Catherine Rocco, who owns a couple gyms at Seed in New York. And she said, and I asked her, because I I did not know my body. She goes, it is a necessity. You couldn't operate successfully a gym, a studio, or a spa without this booking platform. Why are you a necessity? Well, these businesses, although small, are remarkably complex. They have a scheduling problem. They're running classes or appointments that are constantly varying. They have a staff management problem. They tend to manage anywhere from eight to 30 part-time teachers, trainers, and therapists, so they have to manage them. They have to determine who's scheduled when, how much they're gonna pay them to deliver the service. The payment is a variable. It depends on how many people show up for the class or how much money was collected at the door. They then have a CRM opportunity, which means they have, yeah, customer relationship management. They have thousands of customers that they wanna track more proactively. There's a payments challenge as well, and then there's the online booking and point of sale. So what we do is really can be thought of as like an ERP for these little businesses. Oh, okay, enterprise resource, meaning that basically it's too expensive for a smaller proprietor to ever build this themselves. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it would be millions of dollars. I mean, a handful of companies have built their own. Right. Um, Ulta, they, for instance, has one. The, yeah. The Ulta's the biggest. That's right. So. SoulCycle did. You know, right. but that, that costs several million dollars. But at the same and, time, yeah. there are outfits that started small or that actually have yeah. hundreds of units that still use MindBot. We're proud to serve Orange Theory Fitness. They now have over 600 locations internationally. Pure Bars running on our software, over 460 locations. Uh, Bar 3 has a couple hundred locations. Core Power Yoga, about 200 locations. So yeah, our system can start with the small, single mm-hmm. SMB location and scale uh, effectively, infinitely. Okay, uh, why can't I and a couple of guys from I get from Stanford Comp Sci uh, open up a Minder Body? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I started this business in my garage 16 years ago. Okay. Uh, prior to that, I was a nuclear submarine officer, and this is the most complicated thing I've ever done. <laughs> It is. It is, it, is an, it is unbelievably deep. The, the deeper you go into it, the deeper it becomes. Um, there is a never-ending level of things that our customers want to see us do. Okay. Um, we spent $28 million in R&D in the trailing 12 months just to incrementally improve what we're doing. Is that why Under Armour went with you? Because they're very, te- you know, we think they're a technology company that sells apparel. Yes. Well, I think Under Armour's got some exciting things going on. Right. So the MyFitnessPal integration is an example of what we can do. We can surface to any web or mobile interface the ability for consumers to very quickly find, evaluate, book, and pay for whatever wellness service they want. And Google obviously liked that about you. They could have gone with anybody, or they conceivably could have built it themselves, but they chose not to. Well, you see, for Google to do that, they would have to get in behind the front desk of those businesses. Right, you've already sold that. We have something unique, and that is the real-time inventory that changes literally minute by minute. So right now, you can search on Google and find a list of yoga studios or fitness studios. You can see them depicted on a map. But if you wanted to see mashed up the schedule of classes this afternoon, if you wanted to compare reviews, you wanted mm-hmm. to see pricing, read descriptions, you'd have to click through to every one of those websites. Right. So aggregating that into these major consumer portals has been a long-term goal for with us. So we're very excited about what's happening. Why should someone buy your stock knowing that you're not making money? 
Well, as a matter of fact, we've said to the street we're going to be profitable no later than the first quarter. So right now, uh, you adjust- want to get in. Clearly, you do want to get in ahead of that. That's what I always tell people to do. Yeah, that's right. So we've committed to the street that we'll be profitable no later than uh, this quarter, um, and on adjusted EBITDA basis, uh, to be clear. Uh, cash flow, pos- free cash flow positive would follow not, not f- long after that. How big is the total addressable market for this? It's really huge. Uh, there are literally millions of businesses worldwide. And uh, when I say millions, uh, there was a, we did a study. Uh, Frost and Sullivan looked at it and found over right, 4 million that. brick and mortar businesses right. in our currently addressable markets. We currently have customers in over 100 countries. The most exciting regions being U.S., Canada, U.K., European Union, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, Singapore, mm-hmm. places like that. So there's a, the, the bigger challenge isn't the size of the market. It's choosing the best portion of the market to go after next. And that's because that's the most lucrative for you or it's the most necessary? Because I think people want to know at home, since it's your first time on, how does MindBody make money? I mean, what do you charge? How do you do it? How do you yeah, figure? so first and foremost, we have the subscription fees. So okay. th- these are- That's rel- a cloud, like a yep. cloud-based business. So there's monthly subscription fees. They're relatively mm-hmm. modest. Um, our least expensive price point is $75 a month, and our most right. expensive is uh, $295 a month. Okay. Um, and there's varying levels of software. Um, after that are the payments. So we ran over $6.2 billion in payments trailing 12 months through our system, and that represents about 38% of say, our revenue. Okay, so you take a percentage, how does that work? We do, we, we are a, an ISO. We're a Visa, MasterCard, independent sales organization, okay. so we are a reseller of payment services. We're disintermediating some other service that would have been selling that SMB, so they're getting a good price and a great service for their payments. They're getting it integrated, so if, uh, if I walked into your fitness studio and you sold me on an annual membership, um, you're gonna hand my, I'm going to hand you my credit card. You're going to swipe it, charge me for the first month. Right. It's going to store and encrypt that credit card and automatically charge it for the next 11 months. Our system manages all of that. So a customer may think that it's the gym that does it and wants that, but it's actually powered by you. That's right. But yeah. you can still build on particular uh, apps if you want to onto my box. Absolutely. So you take something like Orange Theory Fitness. Like They have some really exciting technology plays. Orange Theory, for example, has this band you wear around your chest that measures your heart rate and respiration. Okay. And, okay. and so they have used the APIs to link that to the data in our system and are able to give their customers a very unique view into their fitness experience. So it's always been our goal to be an API platform. Right. Okay. And out of that, Absolutely. there are literally hundreds of startups that have built solutions on top of us. Um, we've bought two of them in recent years. So in 2015, right we here. bought... Uh, fitness mobile apps, right. which is a branded mobile app experience. Uh, if you go to Pure Bars, for example, mobile app, it's, it is being run by that. We bought them in 15, and in 16, we bought Heel Code, right. which is a branded web experience. Which looks very good. Well, I've got to tell you, Rick, you're excited. this is a very exciting company, and you're, you're obviously the, the man to see about this kind of software. That's Rick Stolmeyer, the co-founder, chairman, president, and CEO of MindBody, which my people tell me is a necessity. They have money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.